Hey everyone, welcome back to Just Ask Kim. Today I want to take a look at a WordPress plugin that some of you are familiar with and maybe new to a few of you. Its function is to help us clean up this home page and reduce these long post links that occur on some themes on the home page. Now, while it's kind of an aesthetic, it's actually more functional for assisting in driving traffic to the post itself so that you get comments. Let me show you what I mean. If I come to this, let me go down to a longer post. If I come to, okay, here's one, the one about comment love and famous bloggers joining up for cash. You can scroll through this post and you could read all of it and you could watch the video and here on the home page and you can come all the way down to the end and there's a call for action, but then it requires a, a click to get, any, to get to the post so you could comment. Now, what you're going to find is most of your visitors are on the lazy side. The less times we can force them to take an action in order to do something we want that isn't explicitly tied to something they want, the far better results we're going to get. Okay, so if we leave this post up on our home page and if we in this long format and if we share this link to our home page and people get used to coming to this home page to do their reading, they won't then come back and click into the post in order to leave you comments or to share or to syndicate or to do any of that. So let's take a look at how we can clean this up. Now there is a WordPress plugin that we want to look at today called Home Page Excerpts. Now this is an unusual plugin because it's not in the WordPress database. So let's bounce out to Google and we're going to type in homepage excerpt. And homepage excerpts if it will come up first and it'll be at the top. And you'll open that and you scroll down here. Installation starts here with downloading it. It's a zip. We're going to click save. Keep an eye on where you save that to so you know where to find it. Don't go and unzip it. Okay. Now come back to your blog. Generally, we'll be in the dashboard when we come back in. You're going to come down to Plugins, and you're going to come down to Add New. And under Add New, you're going to go to Upload. And under Upload, you're going to go to Browse. And now i got to go to where I saved that plugin. Install Now. Activate. Now we're going to come down to Settings. Here under Settings, Homepage Excerpts. And you see we just have three little options. Number of posts to be fully displayed. In this case, let's start with a zero and I'll show, well actually let's start with one and I'll show you how we tighten that down. Then use Custom Post Excerpts. In this case, I'm going to select No because I want them to default. And then I'm going to say if we're, if we're not using the post custom excerpts, grab the first X number of words. Now this dictates how long that post excerpt is going to be. 100 to 200 is generally a pretty nice ballpark, and I'll show you what 100 looks like. Click Update. Okay, now come back to our site, refresh the page. Okay, now this first post still looks long because there's not a whole lot of words in it. It is counting by words, not by inches or centimeters. Okay, now in settings, we set the first post to one to be displayed fully. So you'll see that this first post is its full length. And in this case, the Max Blog Press opt-in form adder, or in my case, the subscriber magnet, does also go ahead and come to the front. That will depend on your theme and is, is kind of hit or miss whether this comes forward and whether you like that fact. Okay, but you can see that that one is full length, comes all the way down through my signature, but that the next one, remember this was that big long post that was like scrolling forever? Well, here you see this post is all nice and tight, it's all condensed up, it doesn't go all the way through my signature, and has a nice prominent continue reading. Okay, let's see how that's nice and tight, now we can scroll down and all the rest of the ones under them are also that same way. These have been made into excerpts. Now you also could tighten up that first one. We could set this to zero in number to be fully displayed. 
I click Update. And then we come back to the home page, do a Reload tab. And here you can see that it shortens this up, but that this doesn't have a lot of words in it. So it's still kind of long in length, but it doesn't go all the way through my signature. And like I said, that opt-in formatter still has a tendency to come forward. That's just a common issue with that plugin. It's not a good or a bad thing. It is kind of nice to get that newsletter, you know, advertising out on that front page again, but it depends on what you're doing in the sidebar, whether you're going to like that fact. You come down and all of them are all nice and tight, and this looks good. And that's all there is to this plugin. As you can see, a quick, easy to use plugin. It does honor the custom post excerpt field that is under the body of the post. And there you have it, a great way to condense the readability and improve the flow through from your home page into your posts. You can see that the settings are real simple and straightforward. It does honor the custom post excerpt that's underneath your content section in your post. But generally speaking, most people are going to be really happy with just letting it auto produce these excerpts. And 100 to 200 is going to give you a nice flow through. There you have it, a great way to condense these up to improve readability and flow through, and a nice, simple, stable little plugin that will add this to the non premium themes that don't already support it by default. Again, you won't want to use this if your theme already supports it by default. Redundancy is not a good thing when it comes to plugins. But for those on generally the free themes and some of the older premium themes or the older copies of premium themes, this plugin is going to be a great addition to your stable and you're really going to appreciate the ease it gives you in not having to fuss with this. All right, if you have any questions about this plugin, I hope you'll post them below. And if this has benefited you, I look forward to you sharing it with all your friends and social media community. You take care and have an awesome day.